Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Um, today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put photos inside of letters um, to make things like this awesome little dad portrait that I made. Um, and you can do all of this in Cricut Design Space. You don't need any outside programs to do it. Okay, so I'm going to hide this so we can get started. Um, you'll need to choose the pictures that you want for your... Um, design. I already have three saved to my computer. Let me go get them. Um, and some things to consider when you're keep when you're putting your photos in is the color scheme. You want it to, to look good together. So keep that in mind when you're uploading your photos. Um, just yeah, something to think about. Okay, so I've got my first one. I'm going to choose complex because I want it to be its best quality that it can be. And continue. And yes, that's huge. You're not going to see much of it. That's okay. You don't need to. Just click continue. And then you want to save it here as a print then cut image. So there's photo number one. Okay. Now I'm going to go find photo number two. And let's see, we'll look at this one here. Complex, continue, continue. It's already highlighted, save, print, and cut, so just save. And we'll go get the last one. Okay, let's get that last one. Let's see. There it is right there. And just the same as the others, complex, continue, continue, and save. Okay, so now all three of my photos are here. I'm just going to select them all and insert them into the project. And they're going to be big. We're going to have to shrink them all down. All right, they are all in. One of the easiest ways to shrink them down is to come down here and just minimize my screen some. And then I'll grab this one first, make him tiny, grab this one, make him tiny, and the same here. You'll want to pull them all over here to the side. This one, it'll, it'll get small, it's just my computer's lagging. Um, and then you can bump this back up to 100%, and now you have photos <laughs> that are easier to work with. Okay, so ne next you want to put in your words. Um, I chose dad, which is why I have three photos. If you want a larger word, you might need more photos. Or you might just need one photo um, to slice one word out of. But for this instance, we're doing dad, so we have three photos. I'm going to get my text, I'm going to put my caps lock on, and I'm going to type in dad. Now I already know the font that I want, it's called impact. Um, I have downloaded this to my computer. So it's not a Cricut font. Um, I got it from Creative Fabrica. You can go over there and grab that, or you can just scroll through and find a thick, chunky font that's going to work for this project. Okay, so here is my word. I need to ungroup it because I want to work with each letter individually. Now once you get to this point, do not resize your letters. You want them all to stay the same size so that when your project is done you can put them back together and you don't have one bigger than the other. Um, you'll want to resize your photos, but not your letter. So I'm going to get rid of everything I don't need right now. I'm only going to work with this photo right now, so I'm going to get rid of this one and this one. And I'm going to make this bigger. Okay, so I'm going to take my D. I'm going to put it in here. Now, this isn't right. I, I don't like the way that looks. Remember, don't resize your D. Resize your photo. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, too far. I wish this lag wasn't going on. That's going to make this video hard to watch. Um, that looks like it might be about right. Just not sure 
Yeah, okay. So you kind of have to just eyeball and envision what you want in your photo. So one thing I really wanted to capture was them holding hands. So I want to make sure that that is in there, in that D, which unfortunately means half of the little girl gets cut off, but it's still going to look great. Okay, so we have our D where we want it. We have our photo. We're just going to drag a box, select everything, and slice. So now we don't need that. We don't need that. And we have our D perfectly how we want it. We can put that away. We can come get the A and the photo that we want to work with for the A. And we're going to do the same thing. Resize the photo, not the letter. And just kind of envision what you want to be in your photo. Um, but something to consider, you want to make sure that, see how the bottom of my A is sticking out just a little bit? I've got to make sure that my photo is big enough to cover every part of my letter. Okay, I think that's going to work. Select it all and slice. Don't need that. Don't need that. So there's my A, and you can see right here. We're, uh, we're looking good already. Now I just got to get my last D in there. So I'll unhide and unhide. Make this bigger. Put that guy on top. Let's see. Um, I'm going to play around with this one and get... think that might get us where we want to be. Let's see. Yep, that'll work. Okay, that's all. Then you just come unhide these. You can arrange them all. Just select it all, come to align. We're going to align the bottoms. And then we're going to distribute evenly. And then we want to group all that together. Okay, so that is your basic word. From here, there's a few different things you're going to want to do. If you are cutting this onto like printable vinyl, like you want to apply this to an end product like um, uh, a t-shirt or you want to make a, a glitter tumbler and you want to print and you want to print then cut each letter out of printable vinyl you're done this is where you stop you size it to whatever size you want them to be and you go if you want to make this a print like you want to frame it then you're not quite done yet um, you're gonna need to get your background in here so come over to shapes get yourself a square uh, let's size this. Let's say we want to make this a 5 by 7 So I'm going to ungroup that. Um, I think it's 7 height and 5, five width. Oops, just kidding. 7 height and 5 width. 5 by 7 Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to rotate it because this is the way our frame would go for this particular design. And then I need to take this and shrink it to where it fits in here. And I want to make sure that I can see my word on top of my background. So while just my word is selected, I'm going to move it to the top. Okay. Um, another thing, I can center all of this. I selected everything, and I'm just going to center horizontally, and then I'm going to center vertically so that everything is perfectly fine. Okay. Um, now, what, you, what would happen here if you just stopped is it would cut out this square when you send it to the, to the Cricut, and then it would cut out, oh, whoops, it would cut out each individual letter. So we don't want to do that. I'm going to turn this, um, I'm just going to turn it white for right now. It's a good background color for a photo. Okay. So. I want the word dad to print onto my photo paper 
and then I want to cut out the photo paper in the size that I have here. In order to make that happen, I'm going to select everything and I'm going to hit flatten. That's a super important step. When I hit flatten, that tells my Cricut, hey, only cut out this outside piece. Don't cut out these individual letters. If you don't hit flatten, it's going to cut out D, A, D, and then a big old square, and that is not what you want. Okay, so this is ready to go to the printer now. Um, it would print out on whatever you want to print it on, printer paper most likely, or photo paper most likely. Then you'd run it through the Cricut, and it would cut out the 5 by 7 shape. And you're done. You've got your photo. That's all there is to it, guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.